Welcome everyone to your collective tarot reading. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. So we start with the theme of the message, which is the Nine of Wands. And this is the card of the warrior that has been through a great battle and now just stands in guard. You know, there's a sense here of guarding your energy and uh, not letting people just, you know, get too close. But ultimately, knowing that this battle that you have undertaken has made you stronger, wiser, there's a sense here of just reaching heights of glory in some areas, even though you've, even though you've got some scars, right? Even though you feel depleted, um, you've reached the place of victory. Now, the only thing that remains is for some reason overthinking. The mind has reached a breaking point. And this is an area where um, the cards are telling you to really focus on. Here we have someone who's literally destroyed himself by overthinking, overthinking everything, uh, which leads to death. And so this is for, of course, you know, metaphor metaphorical death it's not actual death but ultimately if you overthink yourself uh if you overthink too much you'll go into the void into the darkness and uh, you'll come out a bit unbalanced which is why you've got the justice card showing up reversed and the fact that we have a major arcana showing up as the possible outcome for that overthinking tells me that you know if you there's certain opportunities that come in life there's a uh, certain events that shape us mold us and sometimes we have to be present and we have to be open and available. If we're not and we miss the opportunity, that opportunity may not present itself again. And so with this card showing up, it tells me that even you've been through pain, you've been through hardship, you've been through chaos. It's made you a very strong person and now you're kind of guarding. Uh, but ultimately now what the problem is, the shadow that is kind of lingering is your overthinking. It's your mind attacking itself, which will lead to the justice card inverted which is the card of imbalance in all areas. And that imbalance is just pure and utter chaos. And so we're going to go ahead and shuffle on camera. We're going to throw some cards and see what the advice is. Six of Cups. So seek out friendships, right? We've got here a sense of innocent friendships. We've got two people coming together, enjoying each other's company, nostalgia. You know, there's a sense of youth. We even have a parent watching from afar as you two play. So yeah, you know, going out, having fun with people, um, starting to maybe just, I don't know, get your feet wet, right? Like, go out a little bit more. It, it almost feels like, okay, we've got a card coming out. Oh, the Seven of Pentacles. And for some of you, this is a job, right? So I was thinking maybe this is this has to do with relationships, but we've got the Seven of Pentacles showing up. Here we have a gardener who's essentially tending to his garden. And there's a sense here of slow, steady movement, uh, slow, steady progress, right? There's a sense here of investing in the right areas of life so that you can yield good results from your investments. So give your give into this energy and you will have success in uh, in your finances. Uh, we're gonna keep throwing cards and see exactly what else. Judgment reversed. Empress, I love the Empress. All right, so you've got the judgment reversed. There's a decision that you've made that is wrong at this time. And so it's important for you to really try and find what that is, but whatever the decision this is, it almost feels like maybe you've you've just you made it based off of your past pain and the overthinking, right? You're just overthinking yourself into trouble. So you're getting in your own way, uh, and you have to get out of your own way, right? That's the only way forward. You also did get the Empress Reverse, which is a reminder of who you are. Uh, there's a sense here of richness. There's a sense here of love, love that's all encompassing, you know, love that nurtures, love that cares deeply. And so the power that's offered in the Empress is also that of self-care, self-love, self-appreciation um, that leads to this kind of majestic energy, right? Whenever the Empress walks into the room, people know that's the Empress. Nobody wants to mess with her. And so I think that for a lot of you, I think some of you are getting over some kind of job, maybe career, maybe you lost your job, um, your employer maybe changed your position. Uh, there's a new, there's something new that you're starting and you're, it, maybe there's something that's going wrong. You're just overthinking and fear might have you paralyzed. And the fact that you've got judgment reversed and the justice reversed tells me that you've maybe made the wrong choice or the wrong decision or you're about to make a bad decision because of your overthinking so it's time to pause to think it's time to see the beauty inside of you and that is how you're going to obtain the world right what a beautiful card by the way the empress and the world they're both my birth cards and they came out in this reading love it so you know you've got the world showing up here 
Uh, this is the card that ends a cycle, right? My number 21 in the Major Arcana. So we've got, if you're able to, to bring this into balance, if you're able to see your worth, if you're able to understand that overthinking will lead you into uh, calamity and um, ultimately bad decision making, if you're able to just work diligently to your garden, um, then you're going to find success. Also, make sure that you are, you are you know, going with friends and you're inviting these friends over, you're having uh, some fun with them. You know, there's a sense there of, of healthy fun, right? Um, joyous fun, nostalgic fun. Um, and um, just get away from that overthinking. Sometimes when we isolate ourselves too much, we, 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 we tend to, to overthink ourselves into complete and utter death. So that is what I see here. Thank you guys for watching.